In this free giveaway, I'm going to show you a couple of key reasons as to why your dog is dragging you out of your property and down the street and how to turn it all around so that you are back in total control. As you're going to see, the amazing thing about this method is that I use absolutely no force or fear or aggression. I don't even need to correct this dog and yet she'll stop pulling of her own free will. A lot of people fail to realize that unless you first establish yourself as the pack leader in the house, your dog will never let you be the pack leader on the walk, and so they'll always pull you. Becoming the pack leader is something I explain step by step by implementing the five golden rules that are inside the pack leader section of this video-based website. It's something that's so fundamental to stopping your dog from pulling you down the street. Just to give you a bit of background, I came to work with Bella as she was being aggressive with another dog in the house. She's clearly a strong dog and she's got a lot of energy that she was demonstrating when I turned up. Bring your tire. Bella, come here. Come here. Good girl. Also, it's worth pointing out that Bella is usually walked on a check chain. But as you can see, she either doesn't like it or she's playing a game. But I'm going to show you how you won't even need one when you know how to walk your dog properly. So here we are at the very start of the walk and I've just attached a simple lead to her simple flat collar, there's no check chain. And then I'm going to stand up and just wait for her to calm down. I want a nice loose leash before I actually start walking. The biggest mistake that people make when setting off is that they lose control before they even get off their property. If your dog is doing backflips and barking and jumping up when you pick the lead up, you must wait until your dog has calmed down. If your dog refuses to calm down, then you can take the lead off, put it away and try a little bit later. Whether your dog will respect you when you put the lead on them or whether they'll pull you comes back to whether you first established yourself as the pack leader and your dog has that respect for you or not. Here I am with Bella just walking around the garden. I'm making sure she's on a really loose leash. I'm only taking a step forward when she's calm and relaxed. And then I'm doing something called stop, start and change direction, which is as exactly as it sounds. I'm using the objects and furniture that are left in the garden here to block Bella, to make sure that she can't push past me. And then as I keep her on the same side, I turn her around and walk back again. I continue with these exercises until we're ready to move closer to the gate. Here we are, we've actually reached the gate and of course Bella tries to push through. So I open it and I move straight away from it. I walk her away. Taking control of the situation like this is very convincing to the dog. It shows her that even though the gate's open, I'm still in charge. And as you can see, it's these simple techniques which set me up in the position that I'm in now to be able to walk her out of the property. All the groundwork that we've put in means that we've got a far calmer dog when we actually leave the property. It's only going to take a couple of seconds before she starts to respond and understand that outside, just like inside, we're in charge and she should be listening to us. We've virtually got a different dog immediately. Just to remind you, here's Bella a short while earlier with Arona, and here she is now. If you're patient and take your time, then with a bit of knowledge, you can have the dog you've always dreamed of walking beside you quicker than you'd ever imagine. Inside this site, you can watch the entire video of me working with Bella from the second I pick up the lead and put it on her until we're walking calmly down the street together. You can also see how we got her relationship with Asterix back on track. There's nothing left out so that you can follow it exactly step by step until you get to this stage where you aren't even holding the lead and your dog is walking by your side. Not even holding the lead, she's just walking next to me. Once you've put in place the five golden rules to become in the pack leader that are shown on the site, then you'll be in a position to train your dog.